So this is a question that I often get on how do you build lean muscle mass, especially if you feel like you have tried everything and you don't know where to start, or if you feel like you want to build some lean muscle mass, build some curves up, but you still have some stubborn fat. This is going to be the video for you. Now, one of the biggest mistakes, y'all, that I see so many of my girls out there making is, y'all, we got to prioritize strength training, okay? You got to do it. I think there is this misconception that if you lift, you're going to automatically blow up or get bulky or quote unquote look like a man. Trust me, baby, it's not going to happen, okay? It don't work like that. It's the, it will take you years of heavy lifting, eating a certain way, supplementing a certain way for you to even begin to remotely to look like what you don't want to look like, okay? So let's just, let's just leave, can we just leave that behind, y'all? Like, can we just leave that behind? Like, let's not, let's not carry that any further into this year than it needs to go, okay? But you gotta prioritize strength training. Now, I know everyone is busy. I'm not saying you have to live in the gym or train as much as an athlete or a bodybuilder. I'm not saying that at all, but definitely three times a week minimum is what you kind of need to be able to start to see some differences and start to see some changes in your body. That's not three times a week of you just going in there for like 10 minutes lifting some three pound dumbbells, okay? Your body has to, your body is going to change when you really push it. So you need to be making sure that you are progressively increasing your weight as you go through each week that you're training so that your body is going to respond, okay? Because just like anything, if your body gets used to what you're doing, you're no longer gonna get the same benefit from it. My ladies out there, typically we are gonna be able to go up in strength on our lower bodies way faster than we are upper body. So you may begin to notice that your leg days, you can start to push heavier, faster, and your upper body days are lagging, especially if you've never really trained upper body like that either, because I know for me, like there was a time when I had stopped training completely, I fell off the wagon, fell under the wagon, the wagon was dragging me along, okay? And when that was happening, y'all, like, I remember getting back into the gym, I was fatiguing out using three to five pound dumbbells doing shoulder work, okay? So just know that we all start somewhere. Don't get discouraged about where you currently are. I think that's another thing that stops a lot of people is because you feel like you're in the gym and you're looking around at other people and you're looking at her like, damn, she over there, you know, she over there squatting 135 pounds or she's lunging that way. I should be able to do that too. No, 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 no. You are where you are supposed to be, okay? So don't get lost in the comparison trap because I feel like that can cause you to stall your own progress because you're too busy worrying about somebody else, you're not focusing on where you currently are and getting you to where you wanna go. You still wanna be doing cardio, okay? Because especially if you do have stubborn fat to lose, belly, thighs, wherever you carry your fat, cardio has a time and a place. If you are going to do both, okay? If you're gonna do both cardio and lifting, you want to lift first, then do your cardio. The next thing too, you gotta get busy with the fork. You gotta eat. Okay, I think a lot of times you feel like, oh, I got this loose belly fat, I got this stubborn belly fat I want to lose, or I got this back fat, or whatever, wherever your fat is, and you begin to be like, okay, well, I'm just not going to eat as much, and I'm just going to strength train some more. Now, that will cause you to lose some fat, but that's not going to necessarily cause you to build lean muscle mass, right? You got to eat to grow. And the biggest thing, the biggest mistake that I see so many of y'all out there making you gotta eat more protein. It is so easy to eat carbs and to eat fats, but we severely under eat protein just in general. So an easy way, if you have been feeling like, mm, I don't really know if I get a whole lot of protein or you might only eat protein twice a day, start eating it three times a day. That's just an easy way to start. Now in general, they do say one gram of protein per pound, general guideline framework, right? Of course, there's always room to kind of tweak that. That's what I do with my clients when I work with my Golden Hers one-on-one -on, -one on their custom nutrition programs. And if your body fat is higher, you're not gonna need that much. So for example, like if you're 300 pounds, 
you don't need to be eating 300 grams of protein and you have a really high body fat percentage and you want to work on like kind of like leaning out and losing fat and reshaping yourself right so you definitely need to make sure that you tweak it and if you just don't know where to start with any of that check the link in my description box below to work with me one-on-one -on -one. I, I do create custom nutrition plans training plans off nutrition coaching so you don't have to go at this alone because there's a lot of information out there on the internet and I get it y'all, it can be a lot to take in. So just know I am here to help if you feel like any of this is just too much for you to figure out on your own. And also let me know too if you feel like you need more ideas on ways to get protein in because the flip side of eating enough protein is, is okay, well I don't really want to sit here and eat chicken breast five times a day. No one wants to do that. I, I don't want to do that. I'm not doing that, okay? So, but there are ways that you can get creative with your protein sources so that you can look forward to your meals, enjoy them, even if you kind of work, you know, a job where you're not able to cook all day long. There's ways that you can have stuff on the go. No matter what you, like I'm telling you, there's ways to work around it. So if y'all would like some more ideas about that, just drop some comments down below, let me know, and I'll be more than happy to create some videos around that. Because like I said, I am here to help you get to your body goals and enjoy the process of getting there. Because I'm a firm believer that you should not have to feel deprived or like you're punishing yourself to get to the body that you love to live in like that's just not you ain't gotta do all that the next biggest thing that i see so many people not doing y'all you have got to prioritize sleep and recovery you gotta do it okay team no sleep it's not gonna serve you with your body goals it's just not especially i don't care if you want to build more muscle or if you want to lose fat your body does not function optimally when you are sleep deprived. It does not. And you will notice that once you start to increase sleep, not only the sleep duration, but also the quality of your sleep, it can cause you to break through weight loss plateaus. It can cause you to break through fat loss plateaus, okay? Your metabolism is gonna get better. Your recovery is gonna get better. You're going to repair. Your muscles are going to repair themselves faster and more efficiently. So if you have been feeling like, okay, well I'm going to the gym, but your sleep is shit, and you're not seeing any results or any kind of progress, it could be because you're not able to recover due to your sleep quality, your sleep duration, or a combination of both. Along with that is also recovery. So it's the reason why you hear athletes, you hear competitors talk about getting body work done. It's not just because, you know, we just wanna get massages. Your muscles are going to repair themselves faster when you have knots worked out, when you have adequate blood flow to them. And unfortunately, there's only so much you can do with a foam roller, okay? You can do a lot with a foam roller and different things that you can buy at home, but having someone to apply that pressure, even to use different things like cupping and just different techniques can really help you out and help move you along faster. And the same thing with recovery, you guys, is supplementation. So one of the supplements that I always suggest to my newbies is going to be a creatine supplement. Now there's different ways that you can take it. I have here both a powder form that tastes really good that you can put inside your drinks to just drink down, whether you're on the way from the gym or drinking it during your workout, or Legion also makes it in gummy form. So there's tons of ways to kind of get it in, but creatine is going to help you to build strength faster it's also going to help you to build muscle faster it's going to help you to recover faster as well and you're going to have better quality lifts and recovery overall so if you guys want to try these out i'll make sure to link them down in the description box below you guys can check them out there and the last thing y'all is to be patient and consistent i cannot stress that enough listen it takes time <laughs> to build muscle it takes time for your body to reshape it's not going to happen overnight i don't care what that big influencer told you on Instagram, you are not about to sit here and gain, you know, three inches in your glutes in 21 days of doing some squat band workouts at home. It's just not gonna happen, okay? It's, it's not gonna, you can tell him I said it too. It's not gonna happen. You have to be patient, you have to be consistent. I always say, like, you need to give yourself a good, good several months of doing anything for you begin to kind of see a change and to see a difference. And that's not just several months of kind of having one foot in, one foot out, and kind of playing double dutch with it. That's several months of actual consistency, okay? So you need to kind of understand, like, if you really want to reshape your body, 
patience is going to serve you in the long run, okay? Because yes, there's some things that you can do to kind of help fast track you, but the body is still gonna do what the body wants to do, okay? So you gotta make sure that you're coming into this journey knowing that it's gonna be a process, it's not gonna happen overnight, and the more consistent you are, the better results you're gonna see, but it's definitely not gonna happen overnight. Now, I also get a lot of people asking me about like food, well, how much food should I be eating to grow? That is so dependent on so many factors, and it really is no one-size-fits-all answer, but I will say this. If you are one of those people where your body fat is higher, then you may need to focus on fat loss first and having a diet that's more targeted on fat loss, eating in more of a caloric deficit, then eating to gain muscle mass, right? Where you will be at maintenance or maybe even a bit of a surplus. Now, there are people who can build muscle and lose fat at the same time while eating in maintenance. Your metabolism has to be in a certain place in order to do that. And most of the people out there are not in that boat. Now that's not to say that as you are eating to bring down your body fat, you can't increase your muscle tone in the process or increase your lean muscle in the process, because you definitely can. But you're not gonna see as big of a change as you would if you were eating to grow. Typically with my Golden and hers, when we work together, we focus on their fat loss phase first, get them to a good spot, and then we shift gears to get them into more maintenance plans, and then we focus on growing, and you see your results so much better that way. So my goal, y'all, is to keep these videos really short, so that way you can get, get in, get the information that you need, but if you want these to be a little bit longer, if there's things you want me to expand upon, please let me know down in the comments below. If this helped you out, Go ahead on, tap that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next video. And if you want more info about working with me on getting to your best body yet, loving how you look and feel both inside and out, check the description box below and I'll chat with you soon. Thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you later. Peace.